Zeke, what are you doing in there? You gonna help me work on the car? Hey, you gonna help me work on the car? Yeah. Hey guys, it's Jason from IMG Filmworks. Welcome back to my channel and to this part one of a multi-part episode where we are basically uh, deconstructing the turbo system on this car so I can show you guys how to install the turbo system. This is by far the most requested video uh, by my viewers and uh, I, I wanted to make it happen, so today's the day. You can see that we've already uh, deconstructed most of it and that's what you're gonna be watching this episode today. So I wanna take a minute and say, I'm sorry for being missing in action a lot of 2017. Uh, we were in a bad car accident that totaled the car and had some injuries. And I also lost my best friend in 2017, uh, my dog Ty. If you'd like to see who Ty is, he helped me with a video a long time ago and I'll put that in a link in the description. But you've already met my new best friend and I'd like to say that uh, I rescued him, but it's certainly more apparent every day that he rescued me. And uh, that's why I'm kind of back in front of the camera. So. I hope you guys like this series. Part one of this is deconstruction. We are gonna take the whole uh, system apart out of the car today. This is the video you're watching now. The uh, next video in this part is gonna be part two. Uh, and you can already see I've got the car up on the lift. I've already uh, shot most of the footage for part two. And that's gonna be installation considerations. Those considerations are how I ran the intercooler system, uh, how I installed and where I installed the intercooler, why I did it that way. Uh, things like the oil feed for the turbo, where did I tap in and why. Uh, the uh, oil drain bung that I had, you have to put on the uh, oil drain pan. So we're gonna be addressing some issues like that. And then in some separate videos, you're gonna notice in this first part that I'm also gonna go ahead and remove the valve cover. Uh, it's always bothered me that the valve cover looks really bad in this car. So while I'm doing it, I just went ahead and got a whole new OEM gasket set and I'm going to completely refurbish the valve cover, paint it, and make it look as good as the car actually performs. And then hopefully in another separate video, we'll do like an engine detailing. Uh, so this car really looks uh, good with all the turbo system and the new painted valve covers. We're also gonna do a detail to the engine, but those two things will probably be outside of this three-part series. In the three-part series, I just want to uh, uh, kind of focus on the deconstructing in this episode, the installation considerations in part two, and then finally the install. So uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Sit back, relax, and uh, I'm gonna strap on my GoPro and take you through the process now of deconstructing this turbo system. Let's get started. Okay guys, so here we are with the car, and here's the problem that we have right now that I wanna solve while we're doing this uh, uh, tear down and, and reinstall video for you guys. So you can see right here there's a lot of oil. This valve cover gasket is leaking uh, pretty bad under boost and what happens is it uh, you go under boost, the gasket leaks, drops down onto this manifold and it starts smoking. Uh, that's a fire hazard and uh, you just, you know, it, beyond that it's embarrassing when smoke comes out. So definitely want to get that fixed. While we're going ahead and tearing this down, we're going to um, refinish this and paint this blue to match everything and make it look really good too. I started by removing the oil feed line to the turbo. It's always a good idea to bag lines and openings to avoid any debris getting in them. Next, because I'm going to remove the valve cover to be refinished, I needed to take off the spark plug wires. Now, while removing the spark plugs is not necessary to remove the valve cover, I wanted to do it for two reasons. One, I wanted to look at the condition to see how the car has been running. And second, because you're going to have to remove your spark plugs to go a step colder if you put a turbo system on. Okay. 
As with any deconstruction, bagging and tagging is your best friend. Next, I remove the PCV valve and then the breather from the valve cover. Next, I broke the five bolts loose that hold the valve cover onto the valve head. When trying to remove the valve cover, use a mallet to gently loosen the valve cover. I ended up having to pry this one, but if you notice, I did so very carefully and not to the bottom mating edge. If you do need to pry, be very careful you don't damage the mating surface. Then the valve cover should just lift off. All right, let's start. Now, this is normally not like this. This right here was normally routed down, deep down under there where it could catch cool air, but it actually came off, so I had to put it like this temporarily. So let's go ahead and just take this off. Take the wastegate off and the wastegate. Okay, so with the wastegate out of the way, um, and the wastegate dump valve, uh, dump pipe out of the way, we can turn our attention to the uh, downpipe side and then eventually to the uh, T34 um, turbo to manifold gasket here. Uh, and then we can uh, get all this out of the way and we can start seeing how we put this together. So a couple of things need to be addressed first before removing these, uh, this down, down tube right here. Um, uh, and that is, uh, we need to take off, this is the O2 extension lead um, that runs to the O2 sensor, which is right here. Uh, we can't drop that, so I'm going to go ahead and unclip this. Then the other thing we're going to do is when we take these bolts out and we remove this pipe, the catalytic converter is just going to hang, so we need to go ahead and shore that up. So let's do that now. So I'm just going to get a piece of wire here and run it over the uh, sway bar. And then what we do, and this will just allow it to not, now it's got somewhere to hang when this comes off. Actually, these are turning uh, turning pretty good. Now, a good thing to do when you remove these is just go get new bolts. It's not worth putting these rusted bolts back on. There we go. So let's go under here and get this bad boy out.
All right, guys, that's it for part one of this multi-part episode. We've got the turbo system out, and now we're ready in the next episode to discuss the installation considerations before putting everything back together. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't become a subscriber yet, click the link above and become one. And until next time, I'll see you right back here inside my garage. You want to give me a wrench? Can you give me a wrench? No? All right.